Warning, mature content. The video or live stream you are about to watch contains foul language and adult humor. Tough 977 is not responsible for any hurt feelings, bruised egos, or emotional distress caused by this content. In continuing to view this content, you agree that the views and opinions in this content are solely for the sake of humor. Things that are said are not necessarily the views and opinions of Tough 977. He just says some really weird stuff. If you do not have a sense of humor, please turn away. There are many other content creators on YouTube that you may enjoy. For those that stay, thank you very much for your support. Enjoy and have a great day. Oh, one other thing. Crap, I forgot. What's up guys, Tough977 here. Today, I'm recording this video for the second time. Um, well, not this exact video, because if it would have been this exact video, it would have been shorter. This one's going to be a little longer, I do believe, because I can't find a load anywhere else. So, we're going to try to make it within our allotted time frame. We are going to go here to Flagstaff. And we are going to... We're actually going to pull some doubles. I downloaded these two mods. Yeah, and we're going to give it a whirl. This is a Western Star done by a paid group. They actually make people pay for their mods. Um, I didn't pay for this mod. I wouldn't pay for this mod. Um, if it was a better mod, then yes, I would. But given what I'm seeing right now out of this mod definitely not it definitely needs a lot of help it doesn't have near the uh, goodies and features it should my idea or philosophy behind mods and uh, mod purchasing actually let's enlarge this garage so it can fuel up whilst we're here but my idea of of the whole modding thing, if you're going to charge for a mod, make sure you're getting what you're paying for, you know? Make sure you're giving the people you're selling the mods to something worth having. Uh, while this is a decent looking... And, uh... I should have done this off video. I'm so ashamed of myself. Okay, let's skip that. Well, it's a decent looking truck and everything and it runs fine. It works. It's functional. There are some issues with it. Uh, namely being... Being the fact that you can't add stuff to it. I mean, you can. There, It's, it's most certainly customizable. But not my idea of what a customizable truck should be next problem with it is you can't adjust your seat far enough back to see the rear view mirror the truck is too short coupled for what it really is and that's just not kosher if we can drop this wheel down some more Got the wheel dropped down as far as humanly possible. So it creates a onslaught of troubles that I just don't care to see. But that's not what this video is about. This video is actually kind of halfway spotlighting this truck and these trailers. I went with this truck because this truck is actually in its raw form it's intended to be like an Australian road train truck what it lacks in other departments it more than makes up for in in others like uh, engine bad abilities it's got a lot of engine options a lot of uh, options for like the uh, 
raised filters, whatever they call those, the standpipes coming out of your air filters to get above the natural flow of dust. And which that is kind of cool in its own right. I just, they're features that I don't care, care for. It's not that I don't like them. It's just, I'm American, not Australian, so I totally dig Australia. Um, it's pretty cool down there, but not really my, not really what I would want to see when playing American Truck Sim. I guess as it is, it would be nice to have an Australian truck sim with the big road trains, things like that. That would be really, really cool. But we don't. So the modders are trying to do what they can within their set of perfumes. Now at first glance, these trailers are really, or this truck is really short coupled. I mean, it's pretty short frame. And we're there. It does work with advanced coupling, which is nice. I like that feature. But yeah, there is woof da. That's right there, which I'm not used to. Yes, it's a typical thing. It's something you will see quite a bit. But we're gonna weasel this out of here without scraping out of the trailer. We will, we'll have to exit this at a goofy, sort of strange angle. Yes. And we're gonna leave out this direction. <coughs> the trailers look nice, there's, there's nothing fancy, you know, they're just plain sided. They've got the uh, road train logos. I've seen these trailers elsewhere before the the uh, multiple pivot point update so it's not really something new it's kind of more of the more of the same but it actually works so to me that makes it worth looking into worth goofing around with better kick our GPS on see where we're going because we're going the wrong way But a lot of people, you know, they like to see this type of thing. They like to play with it. That's what, those are the people that this is for. For the, uh, sort of the, the B-doubles, whatever. This isn't really a B-double, but it's, it's good enough. Gets the job done. There's two trailers floating around behind me. That's all I care about. <laughs> kick that gear up. I didn't realize I was quite that over the edge with that. 725 horse tr power. This truck does not have to ask or want for more power, so only hauling 70,000, so
and it is uncomfortable looking through that so whoops it is uncomfortable having to turn your head to look out that rearview mirror I kind of like being able to just glance over and see it Lord look at the traffic I'm never getting out of here I'm doomed I tell you doomed it's not gonna happen oh there's our window we shall take it we shall take it and we'll run with it the second trip I've taken with these trailers first trip was from Phoenix to Flagstaff which was a very nice looking video um, I enjoyed actually making the video but I rambled on for no reason for the whole 20 minutes it took me to make that video I didn't have my mic turned on so that works out real well when you do that you know I'm just saying it's one of those things that uh, we don't really anticipate to happen, but they kind of sort of happen. Now, touching more on this truck, it is, like I said, it's a nice looking truck. I'm not going to knock the modder for how it looks or how it's set up, how it drives. It's it's all great. It's, it's great. I don't know what this mod costs to purchase. I don't care. Like I said, it's not my thing. I don't really get into purchasing mods. There's plenty of ways to to go out there and and go about getting some some uh, money for continuing your little endeavors like like this. Uh, a lot of different modders choose different options. They they go with. Uh, ad programs, ad software to be able to generate revenue and they upload their mods to that. They get revenue for for each person downloading. And that is the way it should be. I mean those are the guys that's actually trying to help the community though, so can't expect everybody to be that way. The way these gents go about it, I went over their website, I looked at it, and it's like so stringent. You actually have to enter an agreement with them and, and things like that. And why bother doing that when you know that in the end you're not getting the completed mod. You're getting the version of the mod that they want you to have is what you're getting. I have yet to see a modder that put their best work up for everybody to download. They always held back a version that was just a little better. And while that's perfectly all right, um, if you're going to charge for it, it's a different story. If you're releasing for to the public for fun, for sharing with the community, then yeah, it's all right. Keep the best work back for yourself, you know. But if you're charging people. You need to put your best foot forward and get your best work out there right off the bat. Not have a version of every mod that you want everybody to see and then the version that you've got. It's not my style, not my way. I don't believe in doing that. didn't notice that car was speeding up behind me but he was <laughs> anyways with all that being said you know it's a nice combination this truck and trailer it's okay it doesn't want to eight cam I can't get my eight cam going so don't have an epileptic seizure while watching me try this absolutely not gonna go It's just a pretty nice looking setup. I mean, nothing fancy, nothing overbearing, you know. Definitely nothing I would, uh, I wouldn't hand over a $5 bill for this mod. I know that much. 
uh, and I'm pretty sure that the uh, original modders are getting, or the the group that's selling this truck is selling it for a bit more than that. And to me, it's just not one of those things. Are they going to guarantee that they're going to update? How is there a guarantee that they're going to keep updating that mod? I mean, how many of these modders just up and quit for no reason? How many modders just say to hell with it? They get online and throw a little temper tantrum and say, I'm not doing this no more because so-and-so took my took my big wheel and he decided he wanted to ride it so I'm not gonna mod anymore I'm gonna I'm gonna quit well that's what inevitably happens and then who suffers for it the person that pays for the mod he no longer gets it updates and with ATS the way they update pretty regularly and the amount of an impact that the updates have on the mods it's kind of a serious issue you could very well, you know, spend a hundred dollars on different mods that you could not ever get to use again. You know, if you consider a group like that and they've got, you know, 20 mods at five bucks a mod, boom, there you go. That modder decides to quit. You don't get updates for it. You have a useless pile of crap in your mods folder. That's why I don't support these guys. I will not support groups that do that. And I noticed over on their site, they advance groups like uh, other YouTubers and things like that. And I, a lot of that, I think, is they don't want those guys to zero in on them and say, wait a minute, these guys are shysters. That's just the way it is. Enough about complaining about that, though. That's just boring when I bitch too much. I seem to bitch a lot, and it makes me sad that I that I that I do it. I, I feel like I'm I'm doing a no no thing. On the trailer side, though. Oh 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 oh. Oh, oh good thing I've got my brake intensity cranked up. I would have never made that had I not done that anyways on the uh, on the more positive side tonight gear jammer and crick hick will be live streaming for 24 hours that is tonight the 10th the big 10 of June they are going to be live streaming for 24 hours commemorating their own sub goals so be sure to uh, tune in and check that out guys I will be playing a multitude of games with them I might even uh, kick up a live streamer here uh, live stream or two here and there myself just depending on how things go how I feel I was feeling under the weather last night so I didn't live stream I just didn't feel like live streaming it was I don't know. I just bleh. today I feel a little bit better. Hopefully, I can uh, get it together, get some get some ideas put together, and join up with the boys. Love you, Dad. But as soon as we. Uh, as soon as we get that going, that was my boy. He just uh, come in and decided to give me an I love you moment. <laughs> as soon as we get going, I believe Gear is going to take off with Farming Simulator 17. He's going to play a little bit of that. And then, uh, the way I understand it, we're going over to ATS. Going to play a little ATS. Then... Uh, then uh, we're going to roll up to a session of ETS. When we go to over to ETS, it will be in the morning, so we will be able to join up with their memorial convoy over on ETS 
Truckers MP. And the outlaws are going to support that convoy as well. We're going to head over there and join in with that convoy. It's uh, commemorating or, or paying homage, respect, whatever, to... Uh, damn it. I forgot to put that mod in. Anyways, paying respect to those uh, attacks over in Europe. So as soon as we get that all going, we're... We're going to roll through that. The way it looks, the route that they're taking, it's going to be like a two-hour long convoy, I would say, getting set up, getting everybody connected, and then actually getting the convoy made. So after that, I believe he's talking like maybe doing some Grand Theft Auto or some some uh, uh, some player unknown Battleground, whatever. But it's going to be quite a few different games rolled through the live stream. I'll be there with them pretty much the whole thing. So I won't be live streaming the entire time. But I definitely will be there playing with them. I will kick up a live stream here and there covering different games that we're playing. this truck doesn't really do that bad this combination doesn't drives rather well I don't know if the transmission in here is a custom it is a different transmission but I don't know if it's a copy and paste transmission or or if it's like my 21 speed where I completely scripted it myself It feels pretty much like the uh, standard transmission, so I'm going to want to say that that's what it is. It's just a kind of a copy and paste tranny. It's unfortunate that the uh, that the uh, truck isn't a little more customizable because I really like the truck in general. I mean, to break a little too hard there. My apologies. If I was hauling eggs on the start of this trip, I'll be delivering scrambled eggs when I get there. I don't know what I'm hauling. Frozen food. I'm good. I can do whatever I want to. I'd run into crap if I want to.
Excuse me. <clears throat> well, good heavens. There we go. Green light. Man, I'm gonna. I, I think I've caught every red light in town. Looks like that engine coolant's running a little high there. Woof da. Oh, move, get out the way, get out the way. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not in a hurry. I'm just recording. Golly, this is a long stretch of road. Still got 244 miles left. Double seem to trail along just fine though. That's the awesome part. Don't look like any real issues in any of the turns. No oopsie doos and no collision problems. Definitely will be glad to get this load delivered though. I don't like the sound file in this truck at all. One of those things you can deal with for a little while and then after a while it's just like, oh my god, it's just getting on my nerves.
take advantage of this open road right now until we run into this other truck. really like the looks of this map though I just I like this portion of the map probably some of my most enjoyable time playing this game is in this area between like Vegas and jackpot that's just a really not as much traffic you're not interstate driving you're not speeding along you're just just kind of taking a nice and easy pace and there's enough turns and stuff to keep you from falling asleep at the wheel Just a pleasant way to play the game. And you always seem to get the best frames over here. It's, I'm always run a solid 60 through this area. Good news, Monday, my uh, steering wheel should be here. I will be anxious to be using that. That will be an awesome, awesome addition to my setup. And hopefully it uh, makes my videos look better. I don't care much for this twitching steering wheel crap that I deal with. So... Once I get the uh, new wheel, that will eliminate that little problem. My shifting with a little practice will be a lot better, a lot more fluid.
I didn't think I was going to get into evening hours on this trip, but I am lollygagging around. I'm not speeding. I'm not even doing the speed limit, so I'm just kind of going with the flow. The video will end up being a little longer than I had anticipated, but hey, as long as you guys are watching it, I'm happy. I'm absolutely happy. So, there's that. I'm really, really eager for the uh, live stream tonight, yet I dread it. I don't know. It's one of those things. It is nice to be able there, to be there and show support for for gear and crick though the jammers have done a lot for the outlaws so it's definitely a good thing when we can sort of repay that favor a little bit Oh, lordy, 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 break hard, break hard, break hard. All right, I've got to get around this guy. This is ridiculous. It's having that brake sensitivity kicked way up, but you sometimes you got to do it, especially with with these heavier loads. The AI traffic is so unpredictable. I mean, one time they will wait for you, and the next time they will run a red light. It's like really like I wanted simulation. I guess I got it. I got the nutty drivers behind the wheels. I do like to see those doubles trailing behind me though that's that's really nice now if SCS can hurry up and get their doubles released it'll be even better because I actually to be honest guys I hate running mods I hate the fact that I would have to modify my game to be what it should be when you purchase it you know it's just one of those things So I'm I'm really looking forward to when SCS actually releases their own doubles. That is stuff that I'm willing to pay for because they're going to update it hopefully.
should be able to get around this fella on the other side of this little knob, I do believe. Eh, maybe not. He's going to start picking them up now. And right about the time we commit to pass is when I'm going to run into oncoming traffic. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Let me get around him. That's all I care about. But yes, when my wonderful new steering wheel comes, that will make the, make my channel a lot better. That'll definitely be a great addition. I'll be able to not only play ATS a lot smoother, ETS a lot smoother, but I'll also be able to play, uh, record, and live stream some of the games that I've been unable to like uh, I, I'll even step back and go into like NASCAR 2015 uh, play that I've got project cars that I really want to get into playing again I kind of debating about getting into the iRacing end of things that would be awesome uh, and games like the crew you know I, I'm hearing that there's compatibility issues between that I hope I'm wrong but It still is better than what I'm dealing with because like, my wheel works with with uh, project cars, but it's it's really really hard to hard to control, hard to make happen, so to speak. So with. The uh, G29, that should smooth things up a lot, make things a lot more fun. And overall, my driving will end up being a lot smoother. The step for the the braking the acceleration all that there's more range in doing that like right now I'm hitting my brake and it's like almost insta brake so makes a simulation game a lot harder to play when you're limited like that and in racing it'll all out make you just lose control Here we are in the big metropolis of Eli. Try to get this load up there delivered so we can do our outro. <coughs> Actually, we can do the outro at any time we want, can't we? We can just be like, outro anywhere. It's like, how's my driving? I don't know. These truck or this truck and trailer, I will definitely link those in the description below this video.
kind of disappointed that you're not seeing the doubles or the uh, oversized loads. Oh, shoot. And I'm going to miss my green light. green we want to see green up there green please I want to see green well guys thank you very much for tuning in and uh, hanging out if you've watched the video up to this point uh, you're doing above average for what my viewers seem to want to do I appreciate that Teaching every one of you guys that uh, do show up and support the channel, I greatly appreciate it. It's always an amazing feeling to have people come together as much as you guys do for me. So, I do thank you guys. Hopefully, you'll tune in tonight for the live streams. Uh, that will try. Now, nah, we're just going to auto park it. I ain't going to be able to crank this around. I appreciate everything every one of you guys do as always I love you guys love your support hopefully you guys are able to see many more videos and live streams from me to those that are watching this for the first time and have not been to my channel be sure to uh, like the video I, I always like seeing a lot of likes it makes me feel like I'm doing something good and be sure to subscribe guys if you want to see more of this shenanigans that we pull or I pull and uh, if you do subscribe and you want to be notified when I'm live streaming or uploading click on that little bell beside the sub button and uh, you'll definitely see uh, when I'm when I'm doing something so I will look forward to seeing you guys tonight until then have a good one and stay out of trouble.